on tight. I can't! Current's too strong! Brace yourself! Uh, Nate? Hang on! Uh, it's cold! Nate! There! We can climb up those rocks! Uh, uh, go! Go! Uh, I got it! Come on! Hey! Uh, waterfall! Waterfall? Come on! trying to protect you. It's just, I, I made a promise that I was done with this life. We both did. Yeah, but I broke it. I didn't tell you because I was afraid. Afraid of what? Of losing you. I guess I was uh, protecting myself. You know? We have a lot of ground to cover. Yeah. You should keep moving. Yeah. This way. <clears throat> At least we're on the right side of the river now. Yeah, that would have been bad. I see an opening up there. Good call. Now, how do we get up there? Oh. Avery sure picked a gorgeous island. Well, maybe we can come back here on a vacation, huh? Yeah, maybe. By your lonesome? Now well, rest in peace, my pirate friend. <clears throat> Judging by the clothes, they're colonists. Maybe it was a fight? No, I, I don't think so. Look how they're arranged. Yeah, you're right. They're stacked. They were just shoved against the walls. They were already dead when they were brought here. This is a mass grave, Nate. Hello? Who is this? Now look at the sign. Traitor. It's one of the rebels. 
That's a bad way to die. Here's another one. Sorry, buddy. No disrespect. More gibbets. Oh, my God. Well, I guess that's one way to quash a rebellion. I have to wonder if this was always the plan. What, to slaughter all the colonists? No, to lure them here in hopes of finding a utopia, only to rob them of everything that they have. Well, we are dealing with a bunch of pirates. Well, that is pretty diabolical. Even for pirates. Just need your help for a sec. Those things don't look steady. They're not. Be careful. Excuse me. Welcome to Avery's neighborhood. It's a nice place. <laughs> if you don't mind some structural problems and water damage. Yeah, clearly some drainage issues. <laughs> a real fixer-upper opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Looks like somebody blew that dam and then flooded the whole place. You know, I forgot. Pretty good at this. All right, so which one of these do you think is Avery's? Uh, my money's on that one. One that's still intact. Ah. They're not so bad at this either. Yeah, well, you know, I had a little practice, read a few books. Shit, no. shit. What? What? The front door. Sam. He's still alive. Yeah, for now. Come on. Here goes nothing. Whoops! You know, when Sully told me about this place, I was picturing wooden shacks and simple homes at most. Yeah. Through here, watch your head. Dragon. We're in Christopher Condon's house. Hey, Nate. 
Over here. This way, Nate. Shit. Shoreline. Elena, get down. I see them. Wait! Shit! for one man? After everything, you're really asking me that? Jesus, that's it. You okay? Yeah. Let's push on. <clears throat> Might be a way through this cave. Yeah, it's worth a look. did you bring here, Nadine? She does have an entire army. I think they found the treasure. Well, let's hope not. For Sam's sake. Look, there's something here. It's addressed to Richard Watt. Signed, Adam Baldrige. They were both founders? Look, we can climb up there. Then let's look around.
Ah, refreshing. After you. Oh, how sweet. You want me to be your decoy? No. I was being gentlemanly there. <laughs> Just busting your chops. Yeah, well, the chops are plenty busted already. Thank you. Cutting through this house. Yeah. I'm right behind you. <sighs> you think the colonists flooded this place? Well, they definitely had the motivation. But uh, you don't think it's them. I just find it odd that all these houses are underwater except for one. Avery's. Exactly. Cannons look like they were retrofitted. Yeah, improvised defenses. Guess they didn't expect they'd be fighting each other. Guess not. <clears throat> Ooh, nice water feature. Time for another swim, I guess. Thank you. Make a great counterweight. Uh, I mean, 
Okay, I'll choose to take that as a compliment. As well you should. Made it. I'll find a way up for you. This should work. All right, stand clear. Here you go. Hey, great. Move this out of the way. Yep. Okay. Hey, look. Thomas II sigil. So we're in his mansion. Second in command. Going up the pirate hierarchy. Looks like we found the party. Looks like we're a little late. <laughs> hey, Nate. Check it out. It's another sigil. Oh my god. What? It's them. Elena, these are the pirate captains that founded Libertalia. What the hell happened here? Well, I'm no forensics expert, but I would say... Bad drinks? Apparently. So what was this? Some kind of wealthy pirate suicide cult? <laughs> yeah, not likely. Not these guys. On behalf of Lord Avery, I invite you to my manor at sundown tomorrow. The time has come to abandon our animosities and reunite under the banner of God and liberty. Signed, Thomas II. What do you bet? Thomas II, Henry Avery. Looks like our hosts didn't stick around to clean up their mess. Well, that wasn't very gracious of them. Okay, so... So these guys sparked a full-scale revolt when they claimed the treasure for themselves. Now, they took care of the colonists, but then they had to deal with each other. And I'm guessing things got pretty messy. So, Avery and Two invite them up here to, um... Uh, was it, uh... Abandon our animosities. Abandon the animosities. Avery makes a grand toast. For God and liberty! Arg, ahoy, mateys, all that. <laughs> and they all take a swig. Except these two. And just like that, all the treasure of Libertalia becomes the sole possession of two men. These are some of history's greatest pirates, and they all perished in an instant at this very table. It's incredible. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I, uh... I'm sorry. It's okay. So, since our missing hosts aren't here at Two's Manor, 
we should head over to Avery's. Yeah. Let's go.